One moment. Yorkshire News. Yorkshire News. Thousands of people have woke up to find that their beloved Holbeck Hall has collapsed into the sea. We are going to interview many people to see what they think and what they plan to do in the future. This is Jim, the hotel manager. So Jim, what are your plans now that your hotel has collapsed? My plan is to close the hotel. <laughs> but the hotel's already closed. No, it's a pile of rubble. There's not much point in, you know, closing it because like there's no one there. I feel it's my duty. So what are your plans now the hotel is closed? Um and so do you plan what do you plan to do? I'm gonna build it back up again. Where are you going to build it? Right where the last one was. Mm -hmm. If you built the hotel, wouldn't it encourage people not to stay as, you know, your last hotel collapsed? Well, I really believe that lightning doesn't strike twice. This isn't the lightning, it's erosion. I hadn't thought of that. Yorkshire News. Today, we'll be talking to a very special hotel guest, Timothy. Hi. Timothy, what happened earlier this morning? The hotel collapsed. Okay, um, do you have any special thing that you were doing whilst the hotel collapsed? I was singing in the shower, I guess. TMI. Yorkshire News. Yorkshire News. And now we're going to speak to... Dave. And Dave's son. Okay. Dave and Dave Jr. So Dave. What are your plans now you're within close proximity of the cliff? We're going to move. <laughs> okay, where do you plan to move to? Somewhere away from the cliff. Okay, and what about your friends? I'd advise them to move. Okay, if you're Dave's friend, move. Yorkshire move. News. Move. <laughs> move. <laughs> Yorkshire News. And now we're going to speak to our last guest, Mr Geezer. Mr Geezer, would you like to explain what happened? Okay, so Mr. Geezer, would you like to explain in your own words what happened last night with the hotel? So this was a hotel, right? Yeah. Something like that. Boom! And that's all. Yorkshire News. Enjoy your weekend.